Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how many ways we can run the Python code. So, we have three ways to run the Python code. The first one is through Python command line. Second one is through Microsoft command prompt. And third one is Python idle. So, through these three ways, we can run Python code. Now, let's see one by one. So, first one is Python command line. So, how you can run Python program through Python command line means go to go to search button. Here you give Python, you enter Python. So, you will get this Python 3.8 32-bit. Open this and you can see three greater than symbols with cursor blinking here. Okay. So, here you can write the code. Just I, am, I want to print a sample a string. Welcome to Python programming language. Okay. So, as it is an interactive mode, you can view the output there itself. So, if you press enter after entering the string, if you press enter, you can view the output there itself. So, this is one uh, way of executing Python code by using Python command line. So, here it as it is an interactive mode, you can view the output there itself. Okay. So, coming to the second one, Microsoft command prompt. So, for this, go to search button. Here, enter command prompt. So, here, see, you can view this command prompt app open that click on that so here if you see so while installation if you set the path you can view the path here like this so here enter python okay press enter so here you again you will get you will see three greater than symbols with the cursor blinking here now here you can directly print the string so print welcome to Python programming language. Okay. As it is an interactive mode again, here you can view the output there itself. Okay. So, here in this command prompt, you can also uh, execute the code in an another way that is a through script mode. So, for this, you have to open a notepad. See here. Once you open the notepad, you can enter the program here. You can write the code here. Okay. So, once you write the code, you go to file and save it. Okay. So, I am saving this file on the desktop with some test or first program, first program dot. So, as it is a Python program, you have to save with dot py extension. Okay. All files, click here, all files and save. Okay. So, close this window and now so here you have to exit from this ok now I saved the file in the desktop ok my notepad file I saved on the desktop so here you give cd desktop Okay, so Python. I saved the file with the first first program, first pgm. dot py. Okay, if you give like this Python, the file name dot with the dot py extension. Okay, if you press enter. Sorry, some or some error message. Let me check. Okay. 
I just want to view whether that Python first program okay. First program. See here, FIRTS. The I it was saved as a FIRTS program. So Python FIRTS program dot py. So instead of FIRST, I type the message. I type the first name as FIRTS. So it was saved in in that like that. Okay. So if you enter here, welcome to Python programming language. Okay. So this is another way of executing Python through command prompt. Okay. And the third one is Python IDLE. So here if you enter IDLE in the search button, you get this one. So Python IDLE that is the shell, Python shell will is opened. Okay. So here also you can directly type the message with whatever you want. Okay. Here I press enter, print hello. So, just like an interactive mode, you can view the output there itself. Or otherwise, in this shell also, you can go to the file, okay, and you can open a new file and write some Python code. Print of hello, okay. So, after writing the code, go to file, save as. So, here some FIRST dot program. You can save the file like that and go to run here. Click on this run. Go to run module. Okay. So, here on the, in the shell you can view the output of that program. So, these three are the various ways of executing or running the Python code. First one is through command line, second one is through Microsoft command prompt and third one is through Python idle. Okay? So, thanks for watching.